Hi, I'm Brett. Here's one more thing I want you to consider with regards to Seed Sunday. It's not the most visible thing. It's not the most flashy thing. And I know most people love giving towards things they can see, like seeing lost people come to faith and being baptized, like we've seen over the last two weeks, two months and seeing a family life center develop, and seeing the building changing shape, and having all these amazing opportunities and spaces for people to use and to be a part of. But you know, in the old days, when, when armies went to war, they would always carry a, a war chest with them, and they would get to the battlefield, and they would open up the war chest, and it would be filled with valuable coins, and they would use those coins to buy supplies, and to make sure they could fulfill their part in the war. And we've always had a war chest, uh, in the vineyard church because I believe we're in a war whether we like it or not and following Jesus I want to tell you something we signed up not only to be his sons and daughters but to be part of his army so we fight on we stand in Christ but we've been attacked at every front all the time our war chest enables us to have a financial buffer so that we can keep on keeping on regardless of what's happening in 2017 the wall fell down in 2018 the building got flooded in 2019, we got robbed. In 2020, we started the COVID pandemic. In 2021, there was a riot in Durban, and then there was further lockdown. We've been at war. If it wasn't for our war chest, we would not have been able to do what we are doing right now in keeping our church there for everybody to be a part of, so you can grow and be blessed and feel like you're a part of something that God is doing. Now I look into our war chest and it's dry. There's not a drop inside. We've used every penny as wisely as we can to keep on keeping on. I'm asking you to consider seeding into our war chest so that we can keep on keeping on. There are moments where life is tough. We just don't have enough wiggle room to do the things that God calls us to do. We just don't have enough money to pay the rent. I don't want to keep asking people for money. I want to have a war chest. So that when we feel like there's a difficult moment, we can just use the resources we have and keep on keeping on. Seed it. Let's fill this war chest up.